scientists are proposing to reduce dengue by releasing even more mosquitoes. Hear me out. Dengue is a viral infection transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected mosquito, usually Aedes aegypti. When infected, you could get muscle and joint pains, fever, nausea, vomiting. In some serious cases, you can get hospitalised with a risk of death. Dengue cases have been going through the roof, but talking nearly 400 million annual infections worldwide. In Singapore alone, more than 40,000 cases were reported in the past two years. We are one of the most densely populated nations in the entire world, with more than 90% of our population living in high-rise apartments. This highly urbanised landscape, combined with the tropical climate, is ideal for a year-round reproduction of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, the main one that spread dengue. Today, I will be meeting Associate Professor Ng Li Cheng, the Group Director of the Environmental Health Institute, to find out how NEA curbs the rise in dengue cases in Singapore. Well, the fundamental of dengue control or dengue prevention is actually environmental management, especially in our urban environment. Because Aedes aegypti, which is the main vector that transmits dengue virus, likes the urban environment. They breed in artificial containers, man-made receptacles. To improve the situation, to further decrease the mosquito population, we have worked on different technologies and developed uh, different tools. For example, Project Wabakia, which has been developed to suppress mosquito population in the community. And the second example would be the Gravity Trap, which was uh, developed as a surveillance system to monitor the population of Aedes aegypti in the environment. The gravity traps are black containers with water in it that attracts female mosquitoes that are ready to lay their eggs. All these are meant to complement our current dengue control program. Okay, so this is our stock colonies. Uh, these are the Aedes aegypti mosquito with Wabakia in them. And this is where we mass produce them. So when the male and the female mate in there, they lay eggs, and these eggs are then used for production of the male mosquitoes that we release. In this production facility, the males and females bred are separated based on their difference in size at the pupae stage of their development. Only the males are released to do the job of reducing dengue-causing female mosquitoes in the community. Male mosquitoes don't bite, and thus the program does not lead to increased biting. Project Wabakia involves the release of male mosquitoes to reduce the number of dengue mosquitoes in the community. Let me explain the irony. The male mosquitoes released carry a natural bacterium called Wabakia, which makes them biologically incompatible with the female Aedes aegypti in the community. When these females, which do not carry Wabakia, mate with the Wabakia males, their resultant eggs do not hatch. Repeated releases of male Wabakia carrying Aedes aegypti mosquitoes could thus crash the mosquito population over time, keeping dengue transmissions low. Wabakia is a naturally occurring bacteria found in more than 60% of insects, hence it is natural and safe. Aedes aegypti mosquitoes in the community do not carry Wolbachia. So to introduce Wolbachia into these mosquitoes, researchers inject the bacterium into the mosquito eggs, and these eggs then hatch into Wolbachia carrying mosquitoes. Now, we do not need to do this injection anymore for each mosquito that we release, because the females carrying this bacterium can naturally pass it down to their offsprings. So we have observed up to 98% reduction in the Aedes aegypti mosquito population, which resulted in up to 88% of reduction in dengue cases in these areas where releases have gone on for a year. Globally, this is the first such studies in a high-rise landscape. As the project expands, the different terrain and the location has given us different data points and lessons which have enabled us to scale up. Dengue is endemic to Singapore, which means that the dengue virus is well entrenched in our environment and is an ongoing threat. While NEA hopes to bring Wabakia technology into more neighbourhoods so as to benefit more residents, it is not a silver bullet. 
It is meant to complement existing program, which is based on removing stagnant water from the community. So each of us needs to play a role in ensuring that our home, our premises, does not breed mosquito.